after an encouraging comeback against Metz. Lorient were looking for their first win since September and their first under the tutelage of Bernard Cassoni. Their opponents, Ren, came to the Moustar Stadium on the back of a solid win against Toulouse. A win could have seen Christian Gourcuff's men close the gap on third place if results went their way. Always a fiery derby in Brittany. Rennes started more aggressively and could have scored early on. Joris Nagnon trying to find the top corner with his header. But Lorient keeper Paul Delacroix vigilant and he hangs on. Lorient opened the scoring from a corner after 28 minutes. Sylvain Marvo's delivery is headed in expertly by Michael Siani. It's a good run and a powerful header for the Rennes defenders, guilty of being sloppy. Then it's Lorient's turn to be sloppy. The captain, Zago Toure, plays a horrific pass, intercepted by Grzycki, who sets up perfectly Giovanni Sio, who cannot miss. Sio scoring his fourth of the campaign, but he can give Toure a pat on the back for that one. Grzycki playing it wide and then Sio, a striker of his calibre, will not miss that one. One one at the break, Bernard Cassoni will be furious that his side aren't ahead. Plenty to play for in the second half. And Cassoni didn't have to wait long for his team to take control again. A minute after the restart, Benjamin Mukanjo scuffs his shot, but it ends up being a pass for Majid Waris, who taps into the empty net. Both teams guilty of very poor defending throughout the match. Lorient making that one look far, far too easy. Defending being the key word today. Goal scorer Siani lets Paul Georges Entep dispossess him. But Delacroix stands tall to deny the Rennes striker. Delacroix called into action again from Pedro Henrique's effort. Pedro Henrique had one last chance to draw Ren level from a free kick. It looks to be creeping in, but Delacroix gets down well to save his team. You can see from this angle that the shot is fantastic and the save even better. A first win for Lorient in two months. They now start their bid to get out of the relegation zone. Still three points adrift. Wren slipped down to sixth. 